Aquarius, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for June 10th all the way to June 16th. So welcome. We are going to talk a little bit about astrology. Uh, right now, we are knee-deep in Gemini season, a fellow earth sign. I mean, I'm a fellow air sign. <laughs> and uh, this is this is harmonious energy for you, but it's very it's very mentally taxing. So I'm telling all air signs to get outside and ground. It's going to be beautiful weather for the for the week of June 10th all the way to June 16th here in Western New York. I hope it is where you are living too. And it it's time to just kind of get outside and really take things in, take stock of your life, you know. Get outside and travel. You know, Gemini wants to do things, but do small little tasks. You know, instead of going on this big trip, go on a small one locally or something like that. You know, the little steps. There really isn't much energy shifting astrologically. So we're still in this new moon phase. So take advantage of it. This is an opportunity for new beginnings for you. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like a step back and smell the roses kind of week where there really isn't any more energy shifts. We'll be having that the week after with the summer solstice and the full moon. So it's a time to kind of sit back, idealize, not idealize, write your ideas down, um, make things manifest, write them down, speak your truth, speak it to the universe, make manifest, you know? So let's get some tarot and see, ooh. Do we have anything else? Yeah, I think there's just, okay, there it is. All right, I gotta grab this card. Okay, got it. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, another one of these readings, Aquarius, really? <laughs> wow. All right. Oh shit, there's the garbage men. And I didn't put my garbage out. Oh, they come around the block. I'll get it after the reading. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. I hate when that happens. All right. So, uh, all right. So we got the cards here. Hearing that garbage truck really distracted me. Ooh, man, that definitely shifted the energy here. Pay attention to that. The energy shifted when I put that outcome together. All right, guys, Aquarius, are you ready? Oh, aha. Look at that. That is how it's supposed to go. Holy shit, I didn't see that card sitting there. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. All right. Number one, pay attention to three, three, three. Three cards in each pile. What we need to work on, what we need to embrace, and the outcome. And the outcome is really good. Really good. Let's go back to this. What we need to work on. In the middle of all of this is the Five of Pentacles next to the Moon and the Hierophant. Okay. Two major, we got major cards here. One, two, three. Three major cards. There's a fear of failure here. Your emotions have got you shook for this week. I don't want you to sit in this space. Fear of failure will not bring future success. There, there's no way that happens. The hero fan says you have to have faith. You have to have faith. Now, it also ties into a partnership. Two of Cups energy here. A new beginning in a partnership. Ten of Pentacles is a long-lasting partnership that pays off. This could be work, you know. This could be, um, you know, just because you haven't heard anything yet or nothing's taking place doesn't mean it's going to happen. All right? So don't let your fears and your emotions run rampant. There's also an indication if it's not work, it's a relationship also. Those could be running in tandem together too. Weird. You know, a lot going on here. 
a lot to unpack, but it's your fear of failure that'll stop all of this. So be aware of that. You need to release it. You need to have faith. The Hierophant also shows a perfect union, you know, a soul union. So again, it could be about a job. It could be about a relationship either way or the two of them again running together at the same time. Holy shit. Seven of Wands is protect your energy. Now, you you want to have healthy boundaries. Aquarius, you do have boundaries. Some of them may be unhealthy, okay? So you want to embrace that. You, you know, you want to embrace change. You want to stand your ground. You know, if you want something, you have to insist that it's coming to you. I just posted something on Facebook yesterday that can go right along with this. Let me see if I can find it and not waste your time. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Profile. <sighs> yeah, I just posted this saying yesterday. Uh, randomly. All right, that's what I put. What you want exists. Don't settle until you get it. And that's the message for you, Aquarius. Is what you want exists. So don't settle until you get it. That's the Seven of Wands. Stand your ground. The Knight of Wands is getting your passion ignited. Someone, something, or both has got your passion ignited. Roll with it. The thing is, finally things are coming into your favor, but focus on balance. See, if you are starting a new career or getting a promotion or something like that, and then there's a relationship going along at the same time, find the balance between all of this. Just don't shut down. Don't choose, oh, well, I got to choose one or the other. You don't have to. You can have it all. You know what I'm saying? And this shows you can have it all. With the Ace of Wands, this is a new beginning with the Knight of Wands ushering in that passion getting ignited. Solar plex, not, not solar plexus, but sacral energy. Two of Cups, a union, Ten of Pentacles, long lasting, payoff, promotion, moving up, new job. This is incredible. All right. Yeah, there's a, it, your faith is being tested this week. Balance. Know that you deserve it. Hold the vision in your mind's eye and it will be manifest. What else do we... Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay, yeah. There's a shadow part of you that you have to confront with this focusing on conflict and defeat. Don't go negative or none of this is going to come through. You have to believe that. Allow the universe to wash away that negative energy from you. Get outside and ground. Prosperity begins. Again, another ace, ace of pentacles. The universe is handing you this. It may not show up in the time frame that you want, but it is going to happen, Aquarius. And look at that, threes. Recognition and reward and rejoicing and celebration. This is good energy, but man, there's a part of you that just wants to, I almost feel like it's almost self-sabotage. You know, you'd rather talk yourself out of what you don't deserve than talk yourself into what you know you deserve. You know what I'm saying? So be cautious of that. Find a balance. It's it, But everything is the five of pentacles, the fear of failure, being fe feeling left, you know, being left out. You're not going to be left out. You have this fear of maybe if, if I apply for this job, they'll say no. Well, the universe's rejection is divine protection. You got to look at it that way. I don't see it happening that way, though. Same thing with a relationship. I feel like if I express my feelings, they're going to say no. <laughs> they're going to say yes. They're going to say yes. But it's all dependent on how you look at this. Wow, look at... All these, man, you got messages. You got messages. Change your focus. All right, another five. Pay attention to five, five, five. There's four of them here. All in what you need to work on. You're at this point. You're at this point where it's like, fuck it, I'm doing it. And you're moving on. Definitely moving on. Especially from the emotional aspect of it. It just pulls you down and you're not going to do that anymore. Another five. Win or lose. What are you choosing? 
a winning attitude, standing your ground. Trust. This is the full card. This is a new beginnings, man. Another fucking excellent reading, Aquarius. Wow. You can go back for two months and just watch this over and over and over. Every, the message is so fucking empowering for you. Giving and receiving. There is a lot of help offers coming in. These threes with this six kind of finals every, finalizes everything out here. This is, again, it's, it's a great reading. It's a great reading. All right, let's look at love. Yeah, you are at the you are at the point where you're like, all right, that's it. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I deserve it. I'm getting it. Wow. Good for you. Good for you. Let's let's do love because there's there's a lot of love here. Look at that. Four of wands. <laughs> Some of you may be getting married, engaged. Four of Cups, maybe not. <laughs> Woo. Okay, is that it? Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's time. It's time for some rest. You you need to again change your focus. Relax. Let things flow to you. Just because it's not here doesn't mean it's not going to happen. There's an opera. You're too busy looking at other options that are empty and not on your level, and there's one right in front of you, and you need to, to trust this. And for some of you, there's, it's a, this is definitely a rebirth, the death in the, in the, in the trust card here. It, you're, you're taking this leap. You're making this leap. And, and it, it, a new approach is coming here. You may have to, I, I think a lot of you are gonna speak it into existence, and I think you're going to make the move on this person because you are empowered as fuck in your relationship and you want that energy also. And the four of the four of wands with the two of cups, the 10 of pentacles and the hero fan here says that this is, this is a, this isn't a significant relationship. I mean, open up to it, change your focus. It's right there in front of you, Aquarius. It's right there. Open up to it. I mean, look at the, look at the, the, the beautiful energy in this card. Those two people are holding hands and they're filling each other's cups. What a fucking beautiful representation. You know what I mean? Look at that. You deserve it. It's right there in front of you. Don't feel like they're going to reject you. They're not. Let's get some messages of love. Let's see what they got to say. I mean, Jesus, this is you. Oh, Aquarius. How long have you been waiting for this moment to empower yourself? You're finally in control of your life. How does it make you feel? You can do anything. You can do anything. Mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson and you're putting it to rest. It's an end to this misery and anguish that you've put yourself in. No more. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Yeah, there may be a flux of energy here of prosperity, but it looks like it's going to pay off when we change our attitude about it. Because look at that. As soon as we do, abundance, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Yeah, there's definitely job and relationship. They're running and they're running alongside each other. It's, it's, a, it's a tie race. And it's great. That's what I see the two two here. You know what I mean? Two opportunities. Attraction. The attraction you feel is mutual. That is probably what you're worried about for some of you in this relationship is that it's not mutual, that it's not a give and take. And I'm telling you, Aquarius, that don't disillusion yourself. You're too much in your head. Go with your heart. Trust where the universe is leading you. You really, when you look at it, you can't deny it. You know what I mean? But step out of it. Get some. Enjoy this weather, especially with this person that you're thinking about, you know what I mean? And, and I mean, it's, it's just recognition and rejoicing. And I mean, everything opens up to you. Don't close off to abundance, open up to it. Let's get a closing message. My God, another crazy, oh my God, look at that. Speak up. Aquarius, what are you not saying that's eating you up inside? You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so you can move on and be happy.
Speak up. Speak it into existence. Claim your abundance. Claim that beautiful partnership that you fucking deserve. And you will not be disappointed. You will not be left out in the cold. Your faith is the only thing that can give you your future. And what you want already exists out there. So never give up on it. All right, Aquarius, again, beautiful reading. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I claim it in the comments, and I will see you all next week. Enjoy this week. Speak up.